I'm using Photoshop CS4, although all of these techniques are the same on more recent versions. Make a copy of the original layer by pressing Ctrl and J. Now we hide the original layer by clicking the eyeball. Using the rectangular marquee tool, draw around the signature to reduce the area to be worked on. And then go to Image and click Crop. Then press Ctrl plus D to cancel the marching ants. With the copy layer selected in the layers panel, press Ctrl and at the same time click the Create a new layer button. You notice that the colour sliders are all over the place. So press D on the keyboard and this will make them all go to black. Then select the Paint Bucket tool and click on the image. This fills an underlayer with black and helps to thoroughly remove the background. On the left hand toolbar select the Background Eraser tool. This symbol looks like a pencil eraser with a pair of little flying scissors. If it isn't showing Click and hold on the eraser button and choose from the scroll down options. I've set the figure in the tolerance box to 42% but you can adjust this to increase or decrease the range of similar colours to the one you're selecting with the mouse. If it's set too high though some of the signature may also be removed. The mouse pointer will now be a circle with crosshairs in the centre. Place the crosshairs on the background and click. The background is removed, revealing the black in the underlayer. The reason for the black underlayer, which is only temporary, is to show any imperfections in the removal process. So we continue removing the bits of background. You need to do inside all the loops. Now if you accidentally click on the signature itself and part of it disappears, you can quickly get it back by pressing Ctrl and Z. If we deselect the black layer, we can see what the signature will look like. But it may look as if it's all gone, but if we zoom in, we'll see that there are lots and lots of fuzzy bits which also need to be removed. And at the end, I usually save files like this as a PNG file to retain their transparency and means they can be used just about anywhere. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. So please click like and subscribe to the channel.